Hi, welcome to another video with Photogear. Today I'll be showing you how to change the mount on your Diesel Film Cata Ace and Vesper Prime lenses. So you'll be given a bayonet setting like this. Currently I've got the EF mount on there, as you can see. So we'll be changing from EF to PL. Inside your packet you'll have the other mount, so in this case it is the PL mount, and you'll also have a set of shims. They will also include a small little screwdriver which is made for the screws that are on the back of the mounts. So as you can see, there's a few different mounting points that you'll have to screw. Uh, first we'll start off by unscrewing these. So you'll find in your packet that you'll have two different size length screws. These are what I currently had inside the EF mount. And as you can see, I've got a smaller set of screws here which are going to be used for the PL mount. When changing the mount, keep in mind that you're also changing the flange distance, which is the distance between the back element of the lens, which is this over here, as you can see, and the sensor on your camera. This will affect the par focal, infinity focus, and or focusing marks. To adjust this, you're going to be using the shims. So if you open up the shims, you'll have a look and see, they have different numbers on them. The different numbers just refer to the thickness in millimeters. When changing from PL to EF, you will need to add 0.14 millimeters thickness with shims. When changing from EF to PL, you'll want to take away 0.14 mm thickness of the shims. So what we'll do, you've got to use a little bit of math, is take your shims and just calculate 0.14. So in this instance, I'm taking the EF mount and I'm changing to PL mount. So I'm going to be wanting to take away 0.14 millimeters of thickness. So as you can see, there's our first shim that is showing 0.1. This is our second shim showing 0.02. And that is our third shim, which is showing also 0.02. So 0.02 plus 0.02 plus 0.1 is 0.14. If you can't work that out, I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you. So now, as you can see, what you wanna make sure is you don't wanna mount your lens upside down. So there's a little notch on the side over here, as you can see this notch over here. And you're gonna to wanna to line that up with a little notch inside your mount, which you can see over here. So take your mount, find the correct notch, and we're just going to make sure we put that on and it should actually click into place so now you can see the mount will not spin because it has gone into the correct position it's worth pointing out as well on the shims you've got a little notch over there which is the same notch that you're going to want to line up with your mount and on the lens now remember we had two different size length screws the long ones will be used for the EF mount because as you can see the mount is a lot thicker compared to the PL mount. This is your EF mount and this is your PL mount as you can see it's a lot thinner. Now that you have everything lined up you're just going to take the small screws and screw them in. It's good also to keep in mind that you don't want to tighten these too tight otherwise when you want to change the mount again you're going to struggle to take them off. So always just do it finger tight. And that's it, you have now successfully changed the mount on your Diesel Film Cata Ace and Vesper Prime lenses. Remember, you are going to want to make sure that you get the calculations correct for your shims because otherwise you are going to have incorrect readings for your focus points and your uh, image will not be in focus. Now we do rent these lenses out, so if you are looking for some cine lenses for your next project or you do want to give a try before you buy, you can always head us up and we can book these in for you. To have a look at all the other rentals that we have, you can click on the Rentals and Services tab on the top of our website, which I'll show for you now. I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, you can also contact us through our website or visit us in-store. Alright, catch you at the next one.